Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be looking at an application that is Waveguide Field and Current Simulator. A waveguide is a hollow structure made up of conducting boundary. You can consider this structure as a pipe kind of structure that can carry electromagnetic waves or electromagnetic power along its longitudinal direction. In the help section, you can get a documentation that will take you through the theories and the equations and derivations that are being used for this simulation. We will be considering rectangular waveguide for our analysis with a cross sectional area of A cross B. We will be considering the length of the waveguide as infinite so that there will be no reflected waves existing in the waveguide. You can go through the entire documentation to know more about the waveguide structure and the fields that exist inside the waveguide. One thing we can note here, the energy inside a waveguide propagates in some defined patterns that are called modes. These modes exist because of the bounded nature of the waveguide structure. This phenomena is known as modal propagation of electromagnetic waves inside a waveguide. Before starting the simulation, you have to set some parameters like the mode. We will set the mode as TE mode. M here is the mode along the X axis. N is the mode along the Y axis. So we will take M as 1 and N is 0. A is the length of waveguide along X axis and B is the width of the waveguide along Y axis. We can change the length of the waveguide according to our observation. So we have to observe only 3 cm length of the waveguide. Here F tells the operating frequency. So we have taken the operating frequency as 10 GHz. We can change the samples in X, Y and Z according to the resolution we want in our plots. Here we will get the cutoff frequency as we will click the simulate button. One thing to note here, the cutoff frequency should be lower than the operating frequency. This cutoff frequency is defined by the dimension of the waveguide and the mode that we want inside the waveguide. As we click the simulate button, the simulation will start to run in front of us. You can change the pan angle, tilt angle according to our observation. So in first plot you will see the electric field that exists inside a waveguide. The second plot is for the magnetic fields and the third plot is for the surface current in the conducting boundaries. We can change the view according to our requirement. If you want to observe only the top surface or bottom surface or any side surfaces, you can select those surfaces. So here you can observe the top surface of the magnetic field. So if you select the top surface in the surface current, you can see the field patterns. We can also pause the simulation to observe at a single time instant. We can observe in the surface current that the surface current are converging at a point and diverging at another point. In the magnetic field section, you can see the magnetic fields are circular in nature. We can resume our simulation by clicking on resume button. We can stop the simulation by clicking on a stop button. Coming in the mode, we can change the mode. Now we'll observe for TM11 mode. We'll click on the simulate button and we'll see the TM11 mode. In the same way, we can go for the simulation of TEM mode. 
I'll try to simulate it. A message comes in front of us that the TEM mode does not exist in a rectangular waveguide. By this application, we can see all the fields and the currents that exist in a waveguide. It becomes very difficult to visualize the field or to observe the field just by observing the equations. If we go to the higher modes, like I will take the mode as TM10 5 mode, I will try to simulate it. So you can see the plot is not coming very clear in front of us. This is because the cutoff frequency is higher than the operating frequency. We have to keep our operating frequency a little bit higher than the cutoff frequency. I'll keep this frequency as 100 GHz. Now I'll try to plot this simulation. Now you can see because of our sample points, the resolution is not very clear in this plot. I will increase some sample points here, like I will keep the samples in X as 60. I will keep the samples in Y as 50. I will keep the samples in Z as 100. After clicking on the simulate button, you will get a little bit more clear figure in front of us. We can increase the samples more in the X, Y and Z axis, but this will obviously decrease the speed of simulation. These higher modes are very difficult to observe just by looking at the equations. So such kind of simulations can be helpful for people who want to visualize the field pattern inside a waveguide. You can export the matrices that were used to plot these fields. You can go to file menu, click on export and by selecting the folder, we can save the file. This kind of simulation can be very much helpful for understanding the field patterns. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.